morning, open flip, winter 2016, unit two, learning, culture. So just a little bit of house maintenance here. We'll notice that we have 22 active blogs. So there's been about 105 people register for the course via email. 22 are actively tweeting. There's at least another eight or nine that registered their blogs, but I can't find their blogs or at least no posts yet. So I'm going to be contacting all those people that have um, that have given interest. I'll also be contacting the people that have sent email registration but haven't appeared in the login page. So a quick quick review here. So here we are in the unit two. One thing I really need everyone to do is go to register your blog, Twitter, YouTube, if you haven't already done this. Okay, get on the mailing list, you probably already are. Get ready, get your blog set up, and then I need you to fill up this form. So I'll just go to this form quickly to show you. And what this form is, oops, maybe I should view the form because I'm viewing the edited version because I'm logged in. So I'm asking you for your names, uh, your Twitter, your email, your YouTube, your Google Plus, but really the most important thing, and here's some statistics just to know who you are. But what I'm really looking for, maybe I should have put this first, is the address of your blog. Okay, and then if you have any questions, go ahead and put those in there. All right, really need that from the people that aren't um, sharing their blog with me because maybe they're blogging and I just don't know where it is. Um, so I'll be contacting all those people about that, um, probably close to individually, um, at least for the ones that have filled out that form. But I can't see your blog. I'll be contacting you individually and the other. 60 something people that I've email registered but I haven't seen anything online I'll be contacting um, you maybe in a, in a more um, generic email and I know there's p colleagues of mine at the Tech de Monterey that are registered for this course officially with the Tech and I really want to be able to find your blogs because you're officially registered and I, I don't want to create issues there so unit 2 learning culture um, I'll update the hangouts and I'll update this week's videos which I'm recording right now same same deal. Go through and um, read the information. Reflect on these things about learning culture. I give students opportunities to engage in meaningful activities without the teacher being central. Again, remember we're doing the flip, not just of homework and and delivery of material, but the flip of responsibility. And I, I scaffold these activities and make them accessible to all students through differentiation and feedback. Okay, so how do you set up your scaffolding for your students? The resources for this week, just two of them. Um, one of my favorite videos, Hack Schooling by Logan LaPlante. And another one, uh, The Principle of Change is, is George Corus's blog. Uh, if you don't follow George Corus, you definitely should. He, uh, he posts a lot of good material on Twitter. Very active and an excellent leader in innovation. And uh, I actually just got his book. Um, it's on my Kindle, but I haven't read it yet. Do kids always need to be challenged in subjects they don't care about? Um, sorry, I'm losing the name right now, but I know um, there's a uh, pair of teachers in Colombia that are in the course, and they were talking about the difficulty of teaching English, and the kids didn't really want to get too into it because it was just that extra course. Um, the English is a second language that they had to do as part of their degree and how to get them really challenged and into it. So maybe uh, this post by George will, will really resonate with you. So that's it there. The other thing I did want to mention is we do have 22 active blogs, uh, 40 posts from them. So that's almost two posts per person. That's great. Um, you should be doing a blog post and a video each week. Um, maybe it's re it seems redundant, the video and the blog post, but there's different reflections in there. Um, it doesn't have to be the video as you're reading your blog post. Uh, probably embed the video in your blog post would be great. The The reason I'm asking for video is is a lot of you haven't made video before and making video is a skill that you're gonna just learn by practice. And those of us that have made a lot of videos it's nice to make a video and reflect on on our process. Take a look at Brian's uh, videos. He's got lots of experience flipping but he um, he definitely gets something out of making his videos for himself. Uh, 29 comments. This is what I really love. We have uh, two assignments so far, zero and one, and we've already got 29 comments. A bunch of them are mine, but the activity is great. So let me get back to that here. So we're on unit two. Uh, the idea is get your post and your, your blog, um, your video done as quick as possible, and then jump on other people's posts. Take a look at them, comment. 
um, you can put some comments at the bottom of this post that's what I'm talking about comments in the blog a lot of people are putting comments um, on assignment 0 or 1 or 2 um, in general if you're asking about this assignment put the comments down here so people can see them in our sessions of the videos on Wednesday morning and Thursday afternoon I want to take those comments as well as the comments you put on Twitter so send something in Twitter to the open flip hashtag and we can include those in the videos and if you want to join the video please join the video um, I'd be happy just contact me so I can tell you how that works other than that um, take a look at you'll see I have recent posts from you down here there's random posts on the right here you can click on the all blogs link and you can see everybody's blog cool there we go there's a bunch of blog posts from everybody awesome have a great week and we'll be talking please contact me if you have any questions <laughs>